Hello, um, my name is Obi Somto and I'm a photographer. I've been shooting professionally for four years now and during the course of my career I've managed to shoot a number of celebrities and politicians with Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, the president of Nigeria at the top of the list. I, I specialize in fashion portraits and wedding photography. I've, I've done some photography workshops. Uh, I've done some for the Future Nigeria project here in Lagos. I've had personal workshops, one in Abuja and one in Lagos um, on fashion and portrait lighting. As, as, as for workshops, that's as far as I've come now, but obviously I, I, have, I have more, more, more workshops lined up for the future. Firstly, growing up as a teenager, I, 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 I've always been as inclined. I used to draw, I used to paint, I used to mold, I used to carve. I pretty much do anything that was art related at the time. At some point when I got, when I, when I was done with um, secondary school, I pretty much dropped all of the art I used to do up until I found Photoshop. Well, at the time it was fireworks actually. I found fireworks and then I started to double here and there with a little graphic design. Uh, like every other ad that I had done previously, I started to grow in it. So I would say it's always been in me to want to try anything that was art related. Like I had interest in and I was passionate about them. So it was pretty much trial and error for me. I would since I already knew how to draw and paint. So uh, learning Photoshop was just taking what I already knew how to do into the digital. So I would I knew that if I had a paper and pencil, I could do this a certain way, and this is be the result that I would get. So I just started trying out all the tools in Photoshop. I mean, because Photoshop, there are similar tools that you have like a pencil, paper, and eraser, and then I just kept on trying, and I became a graphic designer. I used to design graphics, post um, posters and flyers for parties and for events here and there. I saved up a little money from my graphic design, and in my final year at the university, I, I wanted to document my last days of school, so I I bought my first digital SLR camera. It was a 1000D at the time, yeah. I bought it with a kit lens, the 18 to 55 lens. And I started taking pictures of anything and anybody who would care to post for me. I started putting my pictures up on Facebook. People started to comment. I mean, there was a lot of interest in social media on my work. And eventually, the interest turned into commercial interest. And I mean, if you're, if you're asking me to give me money to do what I love to do, of course I interned in that and then I, I started taking commercial inquiries and I think, I think it started during my service year when I was seven. At the point I wasn't sure, I, I rather I wasn't sure that I wanted to do photography and take it as a career. I didn't know that I was going to do that. But then I, I got posted to a album for my service and I was, uh, my place of primary assignment was a clinic. I mean, it was a clinic. I studied banking and finance. I wasn't of much use to them. I had a lot of time to do my photography while I was there because I didn't have any. I didn't have much to offer the clinic, so I, I kept on shooting and people kept on calling. Um, I think it was it was somewhere along the line during my service year that I realized that if I could generate this much commercial interest in in acquiring from where one I'm not used to and there aren't as many people as there are in Lagos. I pretty much thought that I mean if if if, if this could be happening here I could make a career out of this and I thought I'd give it a try and then I did. Photography was what sustained me throughout my service year and then after service I just continued I yeah that was when I said that yep I was going pro with this. After after my first camera, I've pretty much just saved up money to buy the next camera and the next piece of equipment that I've needed to push my uh, my photography a little further. Almost of my funding has come from within the business, basically. There's there's two basic ingredients. There's passion, obviously. And there's hard work. Um, there's, there's a lot of hard work to it. I, I I spent a lot of time trying to develop my skills with photography. I'm on the internet a lot, researching here and there. Yeah, YouTubing videos of 
whatnot. And of course, I, I used to practice a lot. I mean, obviously, I had the camera and all the basic tools that I needed. So I used to do a lot of practice, trying to develop myself, learning one thing here or there, talking to friends who had similar interests. We used to grow together, share ideas. And I've shot a couple of people. I've shot Don Jazzy, my guy at the top. I've shot Banky W, Ice Prince Amani, Asha. Oh, Asha was just too much fun to shoot. She's an amazing person. Goldie Harvey, I, I had the privilege of shooting her before she passed on. I've shot Emma, I've shot Brian Moore, I've shot Jesse Jack. I've shot Dr. Seed, I've shot The Prince, I've shot T1 Savage. I pretty much just shoot anybody that wants me to shoot them. And I'm not sure I've had anything such as Big Break. I've just been me up until this point. The court has been faithful. I'm still hopeful that I'll get my Big Break soon. <laughs>